Hello, I'm Kaylin Henderson, an astronomy graduate student at The Ohio State University. Here I'll be discussing the main results of a paper with Kayvon Stassen of Vanderbilt University, which is titled, Time Series Photometry of Stars in and Around the Lagoon Nebula, Rotation Periods of 290 Low-Mass Pre-Main Sequence Stars in NGC 6530. Understanding the evolution of stellar angular momentum, particularly during the first few million years of a star's life, remains one of the longest outstanding questions in star formation research. The Orion Nebula Cluster, or ONC, has hitherto been the single best studied massive star forming region. At the young age of 1 to 2 million years, it has become a crucial testbed for star formation theory. In this paper, we study a similarly young cluster at the heart of the Lagoon Nebula, NGC 6530. We measure its rotation period distribution, examine its correlations with other stellar properties, including the presence of a circumstellar disk, stellar mass, and X-ray activity, and finally use the slope of the period mass relationship as a proxy for age, and argue that NGC 6530 is in fact younger than the ONC. This makes NGC 6530 a particularly important touchstone for models of angular momentum evolution for young, low-mass stars. We obtained high-cadence I-band data over 35 nights using the SMART's 1-meter telescope at CTIO during the summer of 2006. From these, we measure the rotation periods of 290 X-ray selected cluster members, 244 of them being highly statistically significant. As shown here in Figure 7, we do not find evidence for any bimodality in the period distribution, but do see the same long period cutoff at roughly 10 days that is found in the ONC. The short period cutoff at roughly 0.5 days, emphasized in the upper right corner, corresponds to the breakup velocity of a typical star in our sample. We find that the X-ray luminosities of stars with rotation periods correlate most strongly with the star's co-rotation radii, which is shown here in figure 18. On the x-axis, we plot the co-rotation radius, or the distance from the star at which material co-rotating with the star is effectively rotating at breakup speed. And on the y-axis, we plot the X-ray luminosity. The red line represents the linear best fit, and a Kendall's tau test shows the trend to be highly significant. Such a strong correlation suggests that centrifugal stripping of the stellar coronae is what regulates the observed X-ray luminosities. We also quantified the trend of rotation period with mass, which is shown here in figure 16 for seven different clusters, including NGC 6530, organized by increasing age from top to bottom. The red lines show the slope of the upper envelope of slow rotators, with masses between 0.1 and 0.5 solar masses. It is clear that as age increases, the slope of this relationship also increases. We go on to argue that this means that NGC 6530 is younger than the ONC, which makes NGC 6530 even more important to understanding a variety of questions in star formation research. In this work, we present a catalog of 290 cluster members of NGC 6530. We find a number of interesting correlations of rotation period with various stellar properties, and argue that NGC 6530 is now the youngest known fundamental benchmark pre-main sequence cluster. Such a study is crucial to understanding the evolution of stellar angular momentum as stars transition from the pre-main sequence phase onto the main sequence, the role of circumstellar disks in the rotational evolution of young stars, age dating of stars through gyrochronology studies, and a host of other questions. To learn more about our methodology, results, and the implications and applications of our findings, I encourage you to read our paper, which is posted on the archive today. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.